Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'll show you an updated version of my Phantom Knights deck, which runs some of the new cards that drop with the last update of the game, which are the Punk Monsters and the DP Fusion Monster, which has been really po popular and it's very powerful. And this deck also runs Artifact Side, which is part of a combo that I will show you later. So in this video, first I want to explain what these new cards do and why do I run them. Then I'll show you some clips on of how the combo looks like. And then at the end of the video, I will show you the deck list that I use. So with that being said, let's get into it. So, the Punk Engine. We only run three monsters and one trap, and that's because every card search for each other. Like, for example, Foxy Toon, you can discard her alongside another card, and you, and you get to special summon a Punk Monster from your deck. And you may be thinking, damn, two cards for one special doesn't seem that good, but... We're playing Phantom Knights, and we get to get and and we went to get stuffed uh, to the graveyard. So you can discard a Phantom Knight monster, and you will be getting a lot of advantage off of that. Then we have the Punk Monster Siamin. You can pay 600 life points, and you are going to search another Punk Monster. That effect it's really good. And you will typically search for Madame Spider, which has an effect that you can pay 600 life points and you get to search a trap. And you're going to search for the Dangerous Gabu. And Dangerous Gabu, it's a monster negate, which is really good because it's a way to disrupt your opponent. So those are the cards that we run. And then I'm going to explain what the Spunk brings to the table. And first of all, Emergency Teleport. Phantom Knights already used this card, but in the past, this card was just an extra level 3 monster. With the Punk cards, Emergency Teleport becomes a full Phantom Knight combo, because you get to special summon one, one Punk monster. The Punk monster is going to search the level 8 Punk monster that special summons another Punk monster. And that will get you two level 3 monsters on the field, which equals full Phantom Knight combo. And that is without using your normal summon, so Emergency Teleport becomes so much powerful with the addition of the Punk cards. Then we have Hulky Fibrax, which is a really powerful Link monster that special summons a Tuner from the deck. And since all the... Punk monsters are tuners, well, you get access to Halky Fibrax, and Halky Fibrax is going to special summon Jet Synchron. And Jet Synchron is really good with this deck because, again, he can discard cards from your hand uh, in order to special summon itself. So you get a lot of extenders with these new cards. Then we have the DP engine or package, which it's Celestial, Dasher, the Fusion Spell, and the Fusion Monster. And this is really straightforward. Phoenix Enforcer destroys a card, and Celestial and Dasher ga gives you a lot of advantage on your turn, because Dasher is going to special summon a monster if you happen to draw him, and Celestial is going to banish itself alongside Dasher, so you can get so you can draw two cards so that's really good and lastly we have the artifact package and well we have birth anaconda which is part of the hero combo because with any two monsters you can make birth anaconda and birth anaconda it's going to special summon dp okay so we have artifact dagda Again, any two monsters, you summon Dagda. Dagda, when something is activated on the field, you get to bring an artifact monster from your deck to your field, and you're going to bring out Scythe. And what the Scythe does is that when Scythe gets destroyed in your opponent's turn, you get to special summon it, and when it's a special summoned, your opponent cannot use the extra deck. 
and as you may know, a lot of decks need the extra deck to function, so side it's almost a win button when you get to summon her. So those are the new cards that I'm running, and then I'm going to show you some of the clips on how the combo looks like. Alright, now for this clip I want to show you the Halky Firex line of play. Uh, this hand you can make the full Phantom Knight combo like Cherubini, uh, Bardish and so on, but I want to show you what you can do with only one emergency teleport. So you are going to activate it and you are going to summon Siamin. See, I mean, it's going to search for the level 8 monster. I know that we have two in hand already, but let's pretend that we don't. Okay, so now we're going to use Foxy Tune effect. We're going to discard her alongside another card. And we're going to special summon Madame Spider. Madame Spider is going to search for the trap. And we have a free negate. So instead of making Kerubini, I'm going to summon Halky Fibrax. I use two Tunar Monsters. Halky Fibrax is going to activate its effect and it's going to bring out Jet Synchron. Alright, so Jet Synchron, it's going to summon Linkuribo because he's a level 1 monster and we're going to use a jet synchron effect we're going to discard any card really and we're going to special summon him so now we have two monsters on the field and we're going to special summon Dagaba Alright, so we special summon Dagda, and this field may look weak, but see what happens on my opponent's turn. So we pass turn, and we're going to activate uh, Dagda. We're going to bring out Sight from our deck, and at the same time, yeah, we're going to chain. Halky Fibrex. Halky Fibrex is going to special summon a Synchro Monster from our deck. And it's going to be TG Wonder Magician. Alright, so the chains will resolve. Side, it's going to special summon. Well, not special summon, like just be on our field. Wonder Magician, it's going to destroy a spell or trap. We're going to destroy Scythe. Scythe gets destroyed. Scythe gets to special summon itself. Scythe activates and our opponent can't use his extra deck. And Wonder Magician effect is that you can synchro summon on your opponent's turn. So we are going to do just that. And... We're going to special summon Barone the Fleur Witch. It's a negate on our opponent's turn and it's a 3k beat stick. So our opponent can't use his extra deck and we get a free negate. And that's the Halky Fibrax line of play. For this clip, I want to show you how the basic combo looks like. Like, instead of doing the Halky Fibrax line of play, I'm going to do the, the Kerubini into Bardish line of play. So I'm going to start by specially summoning Junk Forward. I have Emergency Teleport, but I'm going to Normal Summon Cloak instead, because I want to have him in the graveyard. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to do the basic play, going to Kerubini. Kerubini is going to send Graf. Graf is going to special summon Seer. Oh, I almost clicked the emergency teleport there. I think I'm going to use it, but later in the combo when I need extenders. So now I'm going to summon Bardish. 
Since I don't really have Cloak on the graveyard, I will send Torn Scales with Bardish effect. So, yeah, I'm going to use Bardish effect. I'm going to send Cloak, I mean Torn Scales. And I'm going to send the Brigadin. Okay. Now I'm going to special summon the Brigadin. And I'm going to search for Boots. Alright. Usually you will search Boots because Boots is a free special summon because you control a uh, Phantom Knight monster, so that's why you search him. So I'm going for Torn Scales. Uh, since I have a lot of monsters, I think I'm going to go for the Appaloosa route. So I'm going to use my Emergency Teleport, a Special Summon Siamin, which is going to search the level 8 monster. And as we know, the, late, the level 8 monster is another monster from our deck. So we're going to discard her alongside the Fog Blade, because it's an extra extender in the graveyard, and I'm going to get the Spider. Spider is going to activate its effect and search the trap. Alright, so I have a lot of monsters, and that allows me to make an Appaloosa. So I'm going to use the Trap, the Kerubini, and the Spider. Okay, I could extend with the uh, Halkifyrex line of play here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stick with what I have now. So I'm going to discard the card and send Globes. I do this because I want another PK in my graveyard and Globes it's basically any card that I want in the graveyard. And I'm going to make a Levier right here. Okay, so I'm going to use Levier's effect to special summon the Cloak. This will... Uh, this is important because if I do this, Cloak will be in my graveyard for my next turn, so I can make plays off of that. Now I'm going to special summon the boots and special summon Dagda. Okay. Now I have my Dagda and I can do the cloak effect into Bardish and Dagda it's going to trigger. I'm going to get the scythe out of my deck. So, I can make the side lock. Alright. So, now what I can do is that I can. I'm going to do this, guys. I'm going to summon an extra level 3. Let's say Thorn Scales. And. I'm going to summon the XYZ guy. There's a different way to do this, that is not making a Pulusa and making Breaksword and using a um, Bardish effect to pop the Breaksword. But since we had a lot of extenders, I decided to go for the Apollusa line of play. So now I'm going to make Berte with these two monsters. And what this allows me is that in my opponent's next turn, I can reborn the Breaksword into one of the uh, arrows that Bardish points to, and that will give me an extra destruction. So now I'm going to use Berte. Berte is going to send the fusion materials for DPE. Celestial, Dasher, and the Spell. Now I'm going to use my Boots effect in the graveyard and search for a Fog Blade or a Wings. 
typically you want to search the fog blade because it's a guaranteed monster negate but in this case i'm going for wings why is that is because i have an appaloosa so wings will protect my appaloosa from battle i search wings i think i have a globes still yeah i'm going to send the fog blade I'm going to send another fog blade, and this is what I was talking about. Now I can't summon the X's in my opponent's turn, so I get an extra destruction. So I set this, I set this, and this is the typically, typically the end board that you will end. And what you can do is that you can activate DP to destroy your Bird Anaconda and the DP. DP will return in the next turn. And now you have this space free to summon back the Exis monster. So I'm going to show you how that looks like. Alright, it's the draw phase. Okay, that's fine. Standby phase. Okay, now DP will return. Okay. I will pop the DP and, and the scythe. Now my opponent can't use his extra deck and I get a free body on the field, which is Scythe. Right, Scythe is going to special summon itself, unlock our opponent. And I still have the trap in the graveyard, so I can summon back uh, Breaksword. Let's do that. And you will summon back Breaksword into the link arrow that Bardish points to. And you get a free destruction. I'm not going to use this, the destruction right here, but this is what you are going to do in your opponent's turn. And it may not seem like a great board, but guys, remember, you still have all the PK cards in your graveyard for the next turn. And you also have the Celestial that it's uh, free draws and the Dasher that if you happen to draw a monster, it's a free special summon. So the strength of this deck is on surviving this turn that you will absolutely do because your opponent cannot use the extra deck. And on the next turn, you will uh, use all your resources and kill him with probably access code and other cards. So that's the main combo that you will be doing. Okay, so I already show you the main lines of play that the deck has, the Halky Fibrax line of play and the Bardish combo, but now I will show you how to play when you get hand trapped. In this case, I get uh, Gamat and Nibirut, but I still managed to combo off and put a respectable board on my opponent uh, scooped, so I will speed this up a little and explain what I'm doing. So I start up but by doing the typical punk play, the level 8 into Siamin. Siamin it's going to search Spider, Spider it's going to search for the trap, but this is important. I summon another monster because I want to have a tuner available in case my Kerubini or my Bardage gets negated. In that case I can pivot out into the into the Halky Firex line of play because I have a toner, so that's why I summon the danger. Okay, so I will make Kerubini with those two monsters and do the basic combo. Graph into Seer, Seer and Kerubini into Bardish, and so on. Okay. So Bardish is going to activate and it's going to get Gamat. So it's negated and it will get destroyed. I pivot into the Halky Firex line of play. And I'm going to pause in a minute so I can explain you something. Okay. I'm going to pause right here. So now I have the combo the side lock in my opponent's turn because I have Halky Fibrex and Dagda. 
what you may notice is that I can still continue my combo because I have a Fog Blade and Bardish and a Thorn Skills in my graveyard. I don't do that because I don't want to overextend and I notice that my opponent has the flashing raid icon so he maybe have Nibiru or some, something like that so I decided to keep these two monsters only. So my opponent Nibiru me and since Nibiru can only be used on the main phase I can still combo off so I will go ahead and do just that, summon Bardish, Thorn Scales is going to trigger, and I can do the full PK combo off of that. I send Cloak, Cloak is going to search Boots. Since I control a Phantom Knight monster, Boots gets to special summon itself, and I do the basic Levier, Levier is going to bring back Cloak. Cloak, it's going to buff Bardish. I use the the token to make a Link Spider, and I have three monsters here, so I can go into Berthe and have DPE, and my end board will be two negates because I have Gabu Boots uh, banish itself to search a uh, Fog Blade, and I will make Berthe my opponent's scoop, but. That's the end board that I would have had. Alright, so this is the final clip that I will show. In this clip I also get Nibiru, but I managed to do the full combo, like the Scythe DP uh, combo. So let's see how this plays out. Again, I start with the Punk Engine. As you see, the Punk Engine is really powerful and complements this deck really well. So, my opponent tried to use Maxi, I call by the Grave it. Again, I do the thing that I explained before. I want to have a tuner on the field to pivot to the Halky Firebrax line of play if my plays get negated. So I summon the Danger. I go into Kerubini using the Danger and a tuner. And I'm going to proceed and do the combo that you already know. Graph, Graph into Seer, Bardish. Alright, so... Okay, Seer is going to bring back Kerubini. And this is big. My opponent, Nibiru, in the Kerubini special summon. And that's good. I mean, that's correct because he doesn't give me a window to activate uh, Bardish. But what this is, what this allows me is that if I have a way to bring back Bardish, then I can full combo him. So he inhibits me. That's totally fine. I use Suchinoko's effect and I draw Globes. Globes. It's basically any card you want uh, from the PK archetype on your graveyard. So that's really good. Alright, so I have a tuner and a token. I can go into Halky Fibrax. Halky Fibrax is going to extend my combo. Globes is going to send a trap, I presume. Yeah. The trap is going to bring back Bardish. And I can combo off, off of that and make the DP and side lock with this setup. So I'm going to send Cloak and set a fog blade. I'm going to special summon Dagda. Then I will use Boots and the other level 3 to make Berte. Berte is going to activate. Since something activated on the field, Dagda can bring out Scythe. And I think that's it, because my opponent sees that I will lock him out of the extra deck. He only has 3 cards in his hand, and I have the lock and 2 fog blades, uh, uh, which is equal to 2 monster negates. So my opponent's a scoop, and that's another example of the resiliency of the deck. Okay, so we're finally at the deck list, and as you can see, the list that I run is 60 cards. 
Uh, I will explain why I use 60 instead of 40, and that's because this deck runs a lot of bricks. Like, we have Celestial, we have the Scythe, we have Dasher, we have the Taketon Borg, uh, and Jet Synchron, and stuff like that. So, a brick is a card that you don't want to draw, and how do you uh, solve this? Uh, you run a 60 card deck, and that's because you have a higher kind of cards, so you won't be seeing them in your opening hand that much. So that's why I run 60 cards. And the deck consists of one Baylor. This is in case you draw the Jet Synchron, you have a Baylor, so you can Link Climb with uh, Halky Fibrax. You have Jet Synchron, the best tuner to get out with Halky Fibrax. Uh, I run 3 Maxis, which is the best hand trap in my opinion. I run 2 Junk Forwards, 3 Tour Guides. This is the best normal summon because you get Graph for free and you can use Kerubini's effect to ditch a PK monster. I also run 2 Kayamucha Knights. I run the Burning Abyss package, the Graph and the Seer. Uh, Terror Top and Taketom uh, yeah, Taketomburg, which is. Uh, free Kerubini, uh, the PK cards obviously, 2 Cloaks, 3 Boots, 2 Globes, uh, 1 of the Stained Grips, and Torn Scales, along with the Phantom Knight Traps, the Fog Blade, the Brigadin, and the Wings. I also run Dangers because they are free level 3 monsters. I run the Psychic level 3 monsters, which special summon themselves if you have a level 3 monster. I run one of the spider, the punk monster that search the trap, just one because you only run one trap. I run three Siamin because this is the best punk card, you get to search any other punk monster. And three of the level 8 Foxy Tune. Uh, the punk engines only run two of this card, but since I'm running a 60 card deck, I rather have three because she's also an extender on itself. Um, I run Celestial and Dasher, they are necessary to get DP. I run the Scythe, a Foolish Burial to get any card I want to the graveyard, a Reinforcement of the Army, the Fusion Destinies, the Emergency Teleports, Calva the Grave to protect my combo, Forbidden Droplet, the best card to break boards, and more so in this deck because you want things in the graveyard and the traps I already talked about plus the Dangerous Gabu which is the punk trap. And for the extra deck we run 1 DP, 1 Wonder Magician as you saw in the Eclipse, this is necessary for the Halky Fibrax Sidelock play, Barone which we will make with TG Wonder Magician because she is a tuner. We run one Levier to recycle or PK monsters. Just one Breaksword, one is more than enough. You will typically use it on your combo, and if you don't uh, use it on your first turn, he's a really good card in your second turn. Uh, one Link Spider. Link Spider is good in this deck because you can turn the Brigadin into Link Spider because some monsters, like I think Berthe, yeah, Berthe needs an effect monster, so you need to turn the trap into Link Spider. Also, if you get Nibirut, you can make the token into a Link Spider, so you can still come off from that. Uh, then we run one Link Kuribo. That's We run that because we have the Jet Synchron and Baylor, because they are level 1s. We run the Kerubini, we already see that he is one of the most powerful cards in the extra deck. Halky Fibrax, Dagda brings out Scythe, Berthe, it's an easy way to bring out DPE. Uh, Nightmare Unicorn, he's really good to break boards. Bardage, it's mandatory. And Apollosa and Axis aren't mandatory. You can these are the flex spots of the deck. Access code, it's really good. I wouldn't really change it for anything, but you can absolutely change a Pelusa for an IP Mascarina. Why is that? Because sometimes you don't have enough extenders to get into a Pelusa, and in the end you will get locked to dark monsters, and thanks to the Phantom Knight Breaksword effect. So 
you would want to make an IP Mascarina with the rest of the monsters that you have. And yeah, that's that's basically the reasoning. Sometimes it's easier to get into Mascarina than to get into Appaloosa. So that's the only change that I will I would make to the extra deck. And I will also want to talk about this version of the deck. Uh, the main deck, it's almost the same. The only thing that it's different is that I changed the Cal by the Grapes, the Maxi, and the Foolish Burial for these six cards. Uh, Dark Ruler No More, it's a card that you activate it and your opponent doesn't have a field anymore because you negate everything. So this is really good going second. And Triple Tactics Talent, it's a spell that functions as an extender because if you get interrupted by a hand trap or by a monster negate, you can activate this and draw two extra cards. And because most of the deck is uh, level 3 extenders, you will be able to combo from that. So this is the list that I will recommend that you use if you have the resources. If you don't have the resources, you can use the other list. It's totally fine. And yeah, so those were the list. Those were the clips and the reasoning of why I use certain cards. So I hope you liked the video. And if you learned something or if you have any doubts, feel free to uh, write a comment in the comment section below. And I will be glad to answer all of your questions.